Today our topic of study is um, integers. A rock climber repels 300 feet down a rock at Enchanted Rock State Natural Area. His starting position is represented by zero on the number line. This is a vertical number line. They can also be represented horizontally too. How do you write his ending position as an integer? Locate this integer on the number line to the right. You may not know the formal definition of integer, but we can still answer this question. So a rock climber repels 300 feet down. So he's going down. So he's starting at zero, look like he's going negative. So he's going negative 350 feet down. So I think it's this one right here. So how do you write his any position as an integer? Negative 350 feet. Locate this integer on the number line to the right. And that's how you locate negative 350 on the vertical number line. Let's go to the next slide. So what are exactly, what, what's the definition of integers? Integers are all whole numbers and their opposite. Whole numbers may include zero. Um, three is a whole number. Seven is a whole number. Twelve is a whole number. Fourteen thousand three hundred fifty-eight is an example of a whole number. But what are the opposites? So zero, there is no opposite for zero. Zero is its own opposite. So let's go to three. So looking at this uh, horizontal number line, I find three here. This is three units from zero. On the opposite side of the number line, which is the negative, where all the negative integers are located, these are where the positive numbers or positive integers are located. These are where the negative numbers or negative integers are located. Which negative integer is three units from zero? Uh, one, it's this one right here. So three and the opposite of three is negative three. The opposite of negative three is three. So let's look at the other side. Let's pick negative seven. Negative seven is how many units from zero? It is seven units from zero. On the other side, on the positive integer side, which of these integer is seven units from zero? I think it's going to be this one. So these are all examples of integers. They could be positive, and you can write positive like this or this. You can put a plus sign in front of it or leave it blank, and negative numbers. And this is an example of integers.